Cardano has been knocking on the door of $2.30 for some time now. So if we don't hold this support level, things could get ugly for Cardano. But with every hopium free video, I will fill you with hopium. You guys are asking for it last video. This is the hopium filled part of the hopium free videos. So if you're new here, thanks very much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, bell notification icon, click all so you see the content pop up in your news feeds. If you're returning and you're new, make sure you hit that like button down below. And for everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're on the Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today, we're looking at Cardano and also Bitcoin, looking at a bear market pattern repeating. And at the end of the video, I've just got a brief demo on how to stake your Ethereum with Lido. So we're not maxis of any smart contract platform here. The whole purpose of investing is to make money to improve your lifestyle. And that's what I focus on here on the channel. If you are looking to improve your lifestyle and you have some ADA, make sure you're staking it with the Investor Accelerator staking pool through something like Yoroi. And our recent uh, epoch, which is coming up, Epoch 291, we've got 21 blocks. So we smashed out this last epoch, which you'll receive. So guys who have already been in the pool for over 15 to 20 days now, you've got that coming through a nice big payout. Thanks very much. You can find the links to all of that down below with instructional videos on how to delegate your ADA to the pool. Last thing is Investor Accelerator Lite, 20 left out of the 100. I won't go on about that too much more. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency trading and investing, check it out. Link is down below. Let's look at ADA and I've got a little hammer here. I want to do a little representation of what is potentially going on here. So as I said in the intro, ADA is knocking on the door of $2.30 and we can see that right there and there and there. This is on the 14th, this is on the 17th and the 18th. We saw it on the 8th and I'm just going to use the hammer to give you an idea. Uh, my brother Michael on his channel also does, says a very similar thing. Once we hit the support multiple times, it starts to cause cracks to the support and eventually more often than not, the support gives way. So if we keep breaking down the support at 2.30, we could possibly give way to the next support level around the $2. It doesn't have to go directly to $2. Some people will say, well, you said it should go to two. I'm just saying this is the next support level and it can hold up somewhere within that zone. But the main thing I'm looking at here is that we've hit this support many, many times. We got it on the 8th of September. We have it on the 10th of September the 13th of September, the 14th, the 17th and 18th in this little zone. And it looks like we're trying to come back to that level again. And note that with each time the moves up have been getting a little less. There's a little less and a little less. We did have this one move that broke past the 50% level, tried itself at uh, getting back past the old highs that was as we were breaking into new all, new all time highs, but then it failed, came back under the old all-time high, see the $2.47. The hopium filled part is that this is just looking short-term. If you're a long-term holder, no big deal. If you're looking to buy some more ADA, I personally am looking at this as a better opportunity, a better entry opportunity moving forward. So even with the downside, even with the prices falling, it still can be a positive thing here. That's what I've got in the intro. So hopium free, Cardano must hold that two bucks or things could get a little bit ugly. And then I'll look at the hopium filled. The two bucks is this spike low that we saw in September on the 7th. And then you've also got the major 50% level at $2.02. And two. So that's the all time high measured down to the major spike low. And there's the 50%, $2.02. And two. So we got the swing, we got the spike low and the market has jumped up. But I think if we start to break down that, then our last line of real support before we could say, well, things are gonna get ugly is that dollar 80 level that's why i've got that purple box sitting here we've had that for many days now so keep an eye on that if we do get these lower prices i like that as a nice entry i like a spike you know a wick so quick times someone was asking how long are you saying look maybe it's a few hours maybe a few days that's all i'm looking for here but for ada that's pretty much this the, the picture at the moment ada btc is also in a downtrend. We've seen that for the last few weeks. We got one, two, three weeks. This has been straight down. The support, 3,300. That's the major 50% level. Uh, and then the all-time 50% level is a 45, 4,600 Satoshi. So we've already dropped down to that once, almost dead on to the Satoshi. 
and this week is just trending its way back down. So overall, this is the uptrend, the arrow of the orange line here. We want to see that held for this bull market. Otherwise, we'll probably break down, find some sort of support in this zone, and then it might try to recover on the underside of it, which is a weaker signal. So I'll keep an eye out for that. That is going to be weeks into the future. I'm not expecting that to happen tomorrow or in a few days. This is weeks away. So that's the idea here to look for the strength and the weakness. Ada ETH is also doing something similar, except this time it was a lower high than what it did in February. So Ethereum is looking a little stronger at this point. Uh, we can see that the consolidation was pretty good. Hopefully we get this consolidation above the 6,000 level. So the 0 .0, 0 0.0006 level, that's where we want to see the consolidation. And then Cardano to continue its strength against Ethereum as well. So I wanted to fill that hopium section. Although it is feeling a little bit depressing for ADA holders with a number of weeks down now, especially against Ethereum, we can see against Bitcoin because this is on a weekly chart. We've got a few weeks down. And then on the USD pairing, the, the high came back on the second. So we're coming into our third week of down prices. I think there is some... There's some good signs in this. There's definitely a lot of hopium that can be thrown into the market, especially if we get these good lower prices, nice spikes, clears out those pricing, and then we take off. That's exactly what we want to see. Now over to Bitcoin, and you can see this downtrend pattern. You can see we failed. Uh, we broke down beneath these lower swings. We failed to get back to the old all-time high. Quick, quick drop and a slight recovery, drop again, slight recovery, drop again, and then a bleed out until we got this very fast move from uh, around the 20th of July into that early part of August. So the swing up and then a nice correction. Now, this is what I'm looking at for a bear market on the short term. You can see that the pattern is somewhat similar on a shorter term time frame, which I'll have to drop down to a four hour chart for that. So you can see it. We've got quick drop down, and then we tried to recover slightly. You can see that little bit there. And then we dropped and then we recovered and drop again. And then we started to get this little bleed out before we recovered very quickly and then had our soft landing correction. So from this, I'm looking at it like a similar sort of setup that we saw, but on a smaller term, shorter term time frame. And we're getting this little peak out close to our 38% uh, well, on the recovery. That's your 61% recovery. And the same deal for this bear market. If you're measuring it from the zero to the 100%, you've also moved up 61% as well. And so far for the month of September, we're getting awfully close to the open price. And the open price of September was 47,100. We're currently sitting at 48,000. So we're several hundred dollars off, which isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. We've got another 11 days to go. And so if this starts to close down, underneath that, then that was the month that we were looking for. That could just be that short-term correction that we've been waiting for in uh, the Bitcoin market before we get that nice move up into fresh highs above $53,000. So although I've got a bear market short-term, I'm just looking at patterns repeating on a shorter-term time frame. This took about three months to play out. Maybe this time it only takes three weeks. So just got to be patient. I'm looking for some shorter-term prices. If we get that uh, lower term prices, I should say, if we get the lower prices, that for me is a nice signal just to get in a lot heavier. And I don't know if we'll get as good a price for the rest of this bull market. Now, some of you guys might be familiar with staking your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator pool or any other Cardano staking pools out there. But some of you might not know that you could stake your Ethereum with an Ethereum staking pool as well. Now, you don't need the total 32 Ethereum to stake. There was a minimum that was required to stake your Ethereum. In this case, you only need a fraction of an ETH to stake in Ethereum 2.0. And you can do this in a decentralized manner to earn passive income on your ETH. So if you only have one ETH, you can stake that one ETH and earn about 5% interest per annum on that one ETH. What you'll need is the Ledger Nano device, and I suggest the Ledger Nano X just so it has more memory on it. You can see it there in Aussie dollars, $1.99. Grab one of those things. Links to this are in the description down below for Ledger. Get the app, Ledger app. I'll leave a link to this as well. And you can do it on your mobile phone as well. So you've got Ledger app on your phone. You've got Ledger app on your computer. It's much easier on the computer, computer of course. And then you've got your Ledger device. So you can keep all of your cryptocurrency safe 
decentralized and earn passive income rather than leave it on an exchange at the hands and the mercy of that centralized exchange. It's just a few simple steps to stake your Ethereum with Lido on the Ledger device. Now, it all makes a lot of sense once you've done it once or twice. Here's your Ledger device. You plug it in with a USB-C cable into your computer, USB-C or whatever you have in your computer. Ledger Live is downloaded on your computer. I'll leave a link to these in the description down below. And of course, a link if you wanted to purchase your Ledger device. Now you go across to Discovery. Once you've set up your Ledger, make sure you got your passwords. The point of this is to show that you can stake your Ethereum with Lido. So you click on the app here, Lido. Now once you're in the app of Lido, you'll have your available Ethereum to stake. You'll have your addresses, your staked amount, and then the Lido APR right here. So this is how much that Lido is offering uh, APR on the Ethereum. So all I would do here is put in how many ETH I want to stake and then you can see all the figures down below. So if I wanted to do 10, you can see there is 10 ST ETH that I'll receive, exchange rate of 1 ETH to 1 ST ETH and then the transaction cost is about $21. So ST ETH is what you'll receive from Lido and that is just a one-to-one -one of Ethereum so that you can then go and sell that at any time as well if you don't want to remain in the ETH 2.0 staking uh, environment. Also note that there is a reward fee that is at 10%. Now this is not on the total amount of Ethereum that you're staking. They are not taking 5% of that total amount. It's just of the reward itself and that goes to Lido. And if you scroll down on this same page, you can see what the risks of staking with Lido are. So you can drop that down and have a look at all of these. I should mention that I have no association with Lido whatsoever. However, I am sponsored for this video by Ledger. But as you've seen before, this is a device that I use often and I have had it in almost all of my videos throughout the year. I use these devices, I recommend them. Uh, it's a much better option than having any of your long-term cryptocurrencies on exchanges or mobile wallets. So I'm very happy to be partnered with uh, Ledger for this particular video. And right down here, we've got the risks. So do take note, if you have anything locked up in here, smart contract security risk. There is an inherent risk that Lido could contain a smart contract vulnerability or bug. The Lido code is open sourced, audited and covered by an extensive bug bounty program to minimize this risk. That's the risk of using Lido. ETH 2.0, there's a technical risk there. ETH 2.0, there's an adoption risk. If it doesn't get adopted, then we have that risk and your money is tied up in ETH 2.0. There is a DAO key management risk. There is a slashing risk. And the big one here as well is the ST ETH price risk. So you'll receive an a token which should be paired one to one with ETH and that's from Lido called an ST ETH. And if that price uh, sways from the one to one with Ethereum, then that is a risk that you take. For example, if Ethereum is at 3,500 and ST ETH starts to fall because there is a vulnerability in their smart contract and that might drop to 2,000 or 1,000, that's the risk that we take for holding the ST ETH. But if you've looked through all of that and you still want to earn some interest on your Ethereum, then it's a very simple process as you could see. It's connecting your ledger device after you've set it up, go across to discovery, Lido, drop in the amount here and then click submit and that will get you started on earning passive income on your Ethereum. That wraps us up for this video guys. If you want to know anything more about your ledgers and getting them, setting them up, check out the links down below. I use this as my hardware wallet for long term holds. Uh, if you're also interested in the Patreon group, learning more about cryptocurrency, trading and investing, links are down below for Patreon. 20 left out of the 100 at the 49 bucks and then we go up to the $59 bracket. Lots of exclusive content posts and weekly video updates. Remember to like the video, share and subscribe if you find some value from the content. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for regular crypto updates, including cryptos that I am looking at trading. If you want to know more about those, check those out over there. I'll see you guys at the next video. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. See you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.